Tessa is too. Energetic, enthusiastic, <laughs> unlike any other healthy girl. Except she was born without a nose. Hold on. They had never seen a baby like Tessa. Nobody in the hospital had. So um, I know that you know that it does create a huge amount of panic when you know, you're faced with something that nobody has dealt with before, and that you know there's no handbook for. There are thought to be fewer than 50 recorded cases of what's known as complete congenital urania in the world, and Tessa is just one of two children in the UK with the condition. To help her breathe while she eats, she was given a tracheotomy as a baby. Effectively providing another airway in the absence of a nose. And work has begun to change her appearance. If you look closely, you'll see a small bump. It's the first of a series of implants that will eventually lead to her looking like she was born with a nose. The eventual goal is, is when she's in her late teens and she's fully developed, that um, they would bring in... They, they, they would uh, put in the final implant, bring in a tattoo artist, create shading, um, re-indentations for the nostrils, and it would be profile looked like she has a nose. It is difficult as a parent to to balance a, you know the cosmetic aspect of it with with how you feel society is going to react and and, and the worry that somebody would will make fun of her and will tease her. And this is the technology that's key to the operations, a 3D printer. A scan of Tessa's head allowed an implant to be created on a machine similar to this. And as time goes on, gradually larger implants will be made and fitted under her skin. And technology is developing beyond the cosmetic. Already there are more advanced machines printing living tissue. The speed things are moving forward and interest in different research groups that I see. I'm hoping in five, six years' time we see a functional nose for uh, Tessa. <laughs> For the moment, the operations won't give Tessa nasal passages. She won't have a nose that would allow her to smell or breathe. But that won't stop her having a full life. If we had known whenever she was born that uh, one day that she would be bouncing on a trampoline with her older brothers and sisters and laughing and running and causing all sorts of mischief, I mean, it would just have, it would have changed everything. We would have cried a whole lot less and worried a whole lot less. And if anything, Tessa being a little different is something that our family now celebrates. Chris Buckler, BBC News, Mahara.